All right, here we are. Lily, where are we? Animal Kingdom. Let's go check it out. Good morning. You say good morning, everyone. Good morning. Yeah, it's early, right? We made it? Yep. Yeah. Good morning. We are here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. The birds are up. Oh, there they go. I might have missed them. I got some of them. Oh, there they go. Look at this. Good timing. Here we go. Kate's is on. Paige is on. Good morning. Wild life right out of the gate, people. Hi guys. Hello. Good morning. We got KBI issues with the microphones, Lily. So. <laughs> Did you hear that? They got KBI issues with the microphones. So. <laughs> the microphones, yeah. So. Good morning, all. We literally just walked in the park and they come flying right over our heads. So. Yes, hit that like button, Kate. <laughs> okay. Where are they going? This way. No, there they go. Whoa! Right over our heads. <laughs> we still got a couple left. We still got a couple left. They don't want to leave. Yep. I think they're sticking around. Lily! Why don't take, oh, should I go look at another bird? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if I get another bird. He's a big boy. <laughs> Cakes, it's the first thing I need. Yeah. There he goes. And of course, the tree of life is always looking good behind us. Uh, here he comes. Right. Whoa. They are loud. They always remind you, those they're beautiful birds. They don't make good pets. <laughs> That's the reason. Lily, it's a good thing we don't have any of those as pets, right? They're pretty loud. Okay. Let's head let, what are we heading to for right now? The safari, right? Okay. Today is animal day. We have planned on doing most of the animal fun here at Animal Kingdom. So, unfortunately, we will not be here as long as I'd like to be today because I have to work this afternoon. But we are going to try and get as much in as possible. And the great thing is, I got Jenny with me here today. So, she can keep an eye on things. <laughs> and she's, she's quiet. It's early. Say good morning, Jen. Good morning. <laughs> it is early. It is early. So. Jamie, Gunville's in. Should we see if we got down here? On the way? We got a red kangaroo possibly and some flamingos here. For Jenny's mom's sake, we'll take a look at some flamingos. Yeah. There you are. Yes, Jamie, she does keep me in line. Actually, I'm happy that she's here. It makes it a lot easier. Helps fully really monitor everything. The flamingos. Okay. Again, I'm going to try and stop and see every animal we possibly can today. 
Lily, do you want to hold the gimbal and drive a little bit? Lily wants to talk to you guys and say good morning, so. We hope everyone is going to have a good start their Thursday. It's a beautiful day out here. It's a little cool for Florida in the morning here, but it's supposed to get in the 70s later today, so it's going to be a nice day. Lily? Oh, Lily wants me to stop for a second. But a good morning to all if I have it, if you're just joining in. It's a... Okay, Lily's going to hold the gimbal and drive here. She's going to, we'll keep her honest on the, uh, on the chat, okay? You got her here? Oh. I didn't bring it, so she wants to do it like this anyway, right? Is that good? Hey, uh, people. Say, what's up, people? I want you to table. See, I'm raising my chair, so... Where's your last year? <laughs> I eight people in here. Yeah, that's nice. It's early. You're like, really? Nice dream early. Mm -hmm. Cakes, Cakes has got a couch coming, so remember, you might have to jet. <laughs> mm. All right, let's go. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. What's up, napkins? Well, he said that to you. Well, Lily, this is normally where we're at. What animals usually down here? The yeah. otters? Tiger. We don't see any. Just water. Must be too early for the otters. Unless so. they're on the other side. All right. And that's a cold, question mark? Yeah. What do you want? Oh, cool. 21, 28. Okay, we can't come. Yep. Yeah. All right, Lil, let's go. I'll be lagging. Okay. Hey. <laughs> I have called people now. Nice. Say good morning, everybody. Good morning, everyone. Your kids are watching. Go ahead and hi. <laughs> Make sure they hit that like button. Right? Hit that like button. Look, I'm the one. I don't clean the. Not Hollywood. Oh my God. Hey, people. I know you're the right person for the job. Tell everyone where we're headed again. Safari. Safari. Takes for the ride ever. <laughs> so we're gonna do the safari, Lily, right? Yep. We're gonna go check out the gorillas. Yep. The tigers. Oh, you're checking out the mural over there. Go ahead. Let's go over there. Take a look at it. See if they can find some animals on there. You find some animals in there? I can see some. Hi, Chilean. Mm -hmm. Couch, couch guys are here. Yay! Couch guys are here. <laughs> <laughs> New couch. New couch. That's early. I'll be over with. <laughs> okay, tell them which animals I'm pointing to, Lily. You ready? One lion, lion. Thunder, <gasps> meerkat, meerkat, umbrella, mm. mom's favorite. Uh, I don't know. The horn. Okay. There's a lot more on there, but let's go. <laughs> Safari and the gorillas too, but these two always laugh at me when I want to go see the gorillas. <laughs> right? And, the, and she says the tigers plural, but it's always tiger. Here. Oh. 
Let me see it for one second, I'll help you, okay? There they are. One of those home, Lily. What do you think? All right, Lily's back. Say, I'm back. I'm back. All right, let's go. You got it? Yep. You got a good grip? Yep. Okay. Lily likes, again, she's the gimbal holder, right? No. You got it? Okay. Did we tell everyone? Make sure they hit the like button. Hit the like button. That's right. I'm really feeling sad already. Smash it. Smash it up the like button. <laughs> I go to. Surprise later. Surprise later? Not here. Not here. How's your spring break going, Lily? Good. Good. Florida spring break? Yep. Hey, 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 Welcome to Domino Land. <laughs> oh. Morning, Joseph. Morning, Joseph. It's all right. Gotta take it. We got Goofy coming. Sharing all their excitement for Donald's Dino Lash. Happening right now in the epicenter of all things dinosaur related. Dino Land USA. Funny story. Goofy was so excited to get underway, he left without his map. <laughs> oh! <laughs> So when you see Goofy and Pluto, wish them well, and then please point them in the right direction of Dino Land USA. There they go. That was good timing. I want to see you No, you're fine. Okay, well. Say I'm back again. I'm back again. <laughs> got it? Yep. All right. Let's go. Good timing again, Lily. That's yeah. two for two. Tusker House. It's our Tusker House. Too early to drink. Tusker House. It's closed. Good morning, Jeremy. Good morning, Jeremy. Is it ever too early to get home? Yep. <laughs> we'll get it on the way out. Mom's already giving me the popcorn bucket look. <laughs> <laughs> We are on our way to safari time, right? We're never here this early, are we, Lily? No. Uh, no. We usually don't get to the parks until late morning, early afternoon. But, oh my God, the safari line way back here. But guess what we have? A tie tie. Yeah, you got it. Let's go. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, let him back. Look, KBI. Glad we're not in this line. How did you get a fast pass so quick? Good morning, Alyssa. Morning, Alyssa. Welcome. Welcome to Animal Kingdom, right? Yep. Everybody knows. We actually got like a perfect Florida day. Look at this line. Yep. Say good news, we haven't seen any napkins on the ground yet. No napkins yet. <laughs> Baby later. <laughs> oh, the mom goes scan in. Good morning, Tiki Nancy. Good morning, Tiki Nancy. Good morning. Tiki Tiki. Do it. Morning. Sing it. Sing it. Tiki Tiki room. No Tiki Tiki room. Follow with the room. Tiki 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 room. 
All right, let's go forward. Thank you. Thank you. Don, turn me. No. Oh, good morning, Jeremy. So how's everybody today? How's everybody today? Yeah, that's right. Even the lightning lane line is long for this, Lily. So, but we got to do it, right? Yeah. It's Mama's idea. It's not my idea. It's Mama's idea live stream today. Mom's it is Mom's idea to live stream today. Well. Yeah, let Mom, Mom explain it. Yeah. <laughs> you wanted to do it though, didn't you? No. Yeah. You got a short. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go forward. Now you're Billy does not want to give up the gimbal. <laughs> She's got a kung fu grip on it. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Piggy. Piggy room. <laughs> hey, it's Rafiki's Planet Watch. No. No. Lagging. There's animals there. Are we lagging? No, over there. Oh, it lags Planet, over there. Yeah. <laughs> Planet Watch. Why are you always scaring me? <laughs> no. No. The Kirby Road, welcome to Safari. <laughs> Morning, Rachel. Morning, Rachel. Morning, Rachel. <laughs> are you are you talking to everyone? Yep. The stupid bump. Okay, it's room. gonna get tight in here. Let me hold this for a little bit, okay? Fine. Because it's tight in here. Okay. We'll give it back to you when we're waiting on the other end, okay, Lil? Everyone get to see Lily here for a little bit. Rachel, good morning. To everyone else, hopefully Lily said good morning to everyone that's on here. If not, good morning. We are happy you could join us today. If you're looking forward to seeing some animals on safari, this is the place to be. Spread the word. Because we are almost, we're already in line for that. Got us going all the way zigzagging around here. We don't normally have to take this one. Yeah, when, when we got to get Lily up in the morning for school, it's a little bit harder. But when we're getting her up to go to Disney, a little bit easier. He said the festival. Right, though? There we go. Boy, the line, the regular line is really thick and it's going to take them a while. Good morning. It's a very popular ride in the morning. I know why. That's usually when the animals are best to see them. Whoa, that's a nice 28 degrees and windy. It's a good thing we're not in New Hampshire. Please keep your eyes on the children. Social store in the personal items. If you don't have fun, don't forget to check them out on the flash show on the camera. Also, once again, have a wonderful day. And as we say here in Yanapi, have a morning, welcome to Hey, good morning, Disney KS Magic. Thanks for watching. Thank you. That's awesome. You saw her on Ron's show, yeah. Good morning. Thank you. Yeah, it was fun running into Ron the other night. We didn't see him coming. He saw us first and, and came and got us. That was pretty cool. 
so. All right, Lily wants to hold it again, so stand by, people. She's like, we're in a log jam, right? Are you in a log jam? Say, tell everyone good morning. Good morning. And nice to see you. Yeah. That big smile this morning, right? Lights up the room, correct? Oh, I just said, um, I forgot, you didn't get to hear. Disney Magic, or excuse me, Disney Chaos Magic says hello. They saw you on Ron's channel the other night, so they're watching here this morning. Thank you. You're welcome. There you see that? Okay. Now this is another Hi Lily. Let's see. Ray, Ray Jean. Say hi to Ray. Hi, Ray. There you go. Nice middle name. Your middle name is spelled the exact same way. R-A-E. Pretty cool. Let me see. Okay. Well, let's give it to Lily. We'll put the gimbal up for her. There we go. You got her. Maybe we'll turn the camera a little bit this other way so we're not just looking at her back. <laughs> what do you think? Right about there? There we go. Can you read it or no? Yep. <laughs> Thank you. Here we go. You want me to drive? You want me to drive or you can do both? Mm. Well, send them all the Yes, 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 Are you having fun, Lily? Yeah. Yes. That's awesome that you guys are coming on and, and, and checking out Lily. We usually do vlogs, right, Lily? Not so much the live streaming, but we're live streaming this morning to give you some Animal Kingdom looks, right? Hi, Teddy. Turn this up so we... <laughs> there we go. Okay. Hi, Teddy. There we go. Let me ask you some questions here, Lily, okay? Can you put your chair down too? Because we're not going to need it up. So. All right, let's see what else we got here. Teddy, did you say hi to Teddy? Yeah. Yes, you did. Yeah. Lily's putting her chair down. We're going to get on the next uh, ride here. Looks like this one is full. So we should be getting on the next one. So, Lily, what's your, fe your, what's your favorite part of the, what's the safari ride? What's that? Tigers. The, no, there's no tigers on this or the lions. <laughs> Uh, the giraffe. The You like the giraffe. Okay. How about everyone else? We've been on the safari ride. What is uh, your, your favorite part of the safari ride? So, yours? I like the lions. You like the lions when they're there? When they're there. When they're there. I think I answered this the other day. I said I like uh, I like the rhinos. So, Cause some, like I said, one time Lily and I were on this and uh, there was a rhino in the middle of the road. We got stuck in the same spot for like 20 some minutes. Like came out the line. Line. So, that was cool. So. Once again, please keep your group together, keep up with the party in front of you, and fill in all the available space. Thank you for touring the Yes. When it comes to safari, Lily gets to take her chair on this ride, so for those that have power wheel chairs, um, this is a ride you can actually bring your chair on, which is good, so we don't have to transfer her. Right, Lil? Cakes is multitasking, it looks like, right? He's keeping, he's, he's, he's a great mod for us. He's mod and while he's getting deliveries. Well, then again, Mandy's probably having that. Because so. Mandy was sitting on the floor. So. Oh, yeah, the baby elephant. That's right. I don't think we've seen the baby elephant yet. Lily, right? Cakes likes the goats. Really, the goats. It's They're goats. not screaming goats. <laughs> They're just regular. Lily, Ray, just Ray is asking you, what is your favorite Disney park? She's new Hollywood to the gym. Studios. It is Hollywood Studios. That is for sure. Because you like what? Star Wars Land. 
Star Wars land. She's a big Star Wars fan. Yes, absolutely. So she does love that. So. Three. You got it. Lily's on her way in. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm gonna sit right here so I can get her a little bit. You can sit up front if you want. I don't wanna block you. You can take that one if you want to spread out, it's totally up to you. All right, we're gonna we do this here. We are in the front seat. Lily is getting strapped in. I'm sitting a little bit behind her because I want to be able to see her. So Ready. Right, Lil? That heavy bag up just a touch. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> no, she said, oh, I shut it off already. She wasn't saying I shut it off already. So. <laughs> All right, that'll work for me. Yeah. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. You're welcome. All, right. All right, let's take a look at these people. Let's see if we can get anybody to wait. So, I nope, no one was looking. So. Reminders before we head out on our very long journey. Are there any uh, extras on this one? Once it's shut off, it automatically breaks. Once I get them all in, I'll tighten them up for you. <laughs> Disney cast members out. always stepping up, getting Lily locked in. So. Alright. Tighten them up Ooh, taking my husband to Hollywood Studios to build a lightsaber for his birthday on the 8th. That is awesome. I have done that. He's going to love that experience. Oh, that is awesome. Yes. Have fun. Yeah, have fun with that. Yeah, just enjoy it. They do allow you to... I believe they uh, the person building my saber and they allow one person to go with, correct? Right? So, so you should be able to witness him build his lightsaber. So. You enjoy your day too, Ray, okay? Yep, go ahead. You're fine. Alright, you're gonna have one handlebar right here and another one on your right hand side. I'm gonna close that door behind you, okay? There we go. Alright, you guys are all set. Yeah, more than welcome to sit on your lap or one of the outside seats. That is where there's gonna be seats. Best. Anybody. <laughs> yes, it's a very, like I said, if that's the first time you are building lightsaber, you are gonna love it. It's a great experience. Soak it all in, that's for sure. If you do have any questions about the building the lightsaber, there's enough people on here that can tell you that have already done it. The big thing is picking which one you want, which color blade you want, all that stuff needs to be decided. I did. I built my lightsaber, Lily. Remember when we built our lightsaber? What color did you make me color the blade? She made me get a purple blade. So, <laughs> but it was awesome. Okay, I've got another question. Has anyone built the droid? We have built the droid too. So, oh my God, Kim, or Kim, Lily. Aunt Kim is on the stream. Can you say hello? Hello. Say hi, Spencer. Hi, and hi Spencer. Hey, bad guys. Hey, bad guys, right. Barb says her blade is purple too. That's awesome. What? It's a teddy better too. Purple. Yep. They all like the purple blades, Lily. So yes, we did. Um, we did do the uh, uh, the droid build too, and that is pretty cool. I, I like that. Um, you can definitely, again, a big old line of droid parts goes by you. You get to pick what droid you want to build, what color, you, the whole shebang. So that's a pretty interesting uh, uh, atmosphere there too, an experience that's for sure. So enjoy that. 
Lily's droid is purple. Lily's droid is purple too. And what did you name your droid? Lily? She named it BB-12. Why? Because you were 12 when you built it, right? That's right. So. <laughs> Hey, Kim, you gonna be working today or did you take the day off? Wild time. Now, while we're here just for a second, I'm gonna talk about that guide above your head. That is, in fact, the Safari Spotting Guide that's gonna show you some of the animals that live out here. Although I can't guarantee we're gonna see all Lily the built, yeah, she built a BB okay. droid. Like, 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 like BB 8, but purple and white. So. Now, when you got on, I just say Karen Booney, which does mean one more board in 20. Other word I use here is. Looks like we are getting ready to go here. Oh. Caribouni, everyone. Caribouni means welcome. So welcome aboard. If you're seated on the right side of the truck, watch your hands, arms, feet, and legs. Doors are going to slide shut. He's got a nice voice. <laughs> Thank you for understanding. Yeah. <laughs> we are working today. Uh, well, I got to work later, too. So. It's, only been, it's been seven minutes, but these are the two trucks that they were worried about. But I think you guys are. I'm going to work about you and then. Oh boy, I hope we're not worried about okay. trucks yet. I would like to, if I can, I would like to wait for the eight. Yeah, for the eight minutes. Ray, Lily, you get... Well, we're hoping to see the new baby elephant. We're going to find out. So. We should be. Yeah. Kim, is the weather in the UP just as nice today? <laughs> requires a reservation like definitely get a reservation Jordan. and friends out here we like to say twin day twin day means let's go so twin day okay we don't go. think it's cold i'm just pointing out it's colder um, for florida okay. good morning <laughs> my name is Haley, and i'm going to be your safari guide out there this morning everyone say and hi to Haley. just a couple of things before we head on out there and we are officially on our way really fully and completely yes. seated for me at all times keep your hands arms feet and legs inside the truck Parents, please supervise your children. They can be seated on your lap or on the seat right next to you, but wherever they're at right now, that is where they have to stay the entire duration of our adventure. Please, there is no playing hot potato with your child. Our All first right, stop we are officially on the, on the journey move, people. out here is the little attorney Hopefully forest. This ride smoother for you than it will be for us. Enjoy the so show. I will stop we're talking. Have to keep an extra sharp eye out here as we are kind of going along. Yes, I know and that's hard. No joke. Patterns as we head on through here as well. Let's see over there on the right, back behind some bushes over there. There is an oak hoppy. Looks like she's got her zebra party pants on, but these guys are not related to the zebra at all. They are the closest living relative to the giraffe. Uh, the Okapi actually came first, the giraffe came second, fun fact. They are very, very elusive creatures. So much so, in fact, they've earned the nickname, the ghost of the forest. That's because nobody ever sees them out there. They are very, very hard to find. Headed a little bit deeper into the forest now, I do see a huge saddle build stork oh, nest up here. Wow. It's up on the hill, it'll be on your right hand side, and there is a saddle build stork sitting down in that big, big nest. Now these birds can get up to five feet tall, and they have a nine foot wingspan, so they are absolutely massive, and you can see that nest is huge as well. That is the male sitting in that nest right now, he has dark colored right, eyes, right females have yellow colored eyes. A black rhino on the left hand side. Black rhinos are the smallest of the rhino species. They can weigh up to 3,000 pounds. Rhinos are heavily poached for their horns. A lot of cultures believe that those horns possess medicinal qualities, but that's never actually been proven. They are just made out of keratin, which is the same thing as your hair and your nails. Now that does mean that those rhino horns are constantly growing their entire lives. So they do file them down on rocks and other rough surfaces like tree stumps to help try and keep them at a little bit more of a manageable length for them. 
Couple different antelope species on the left hand side. The copper colored antelopes are the bongos. Those are female bongos. They are that lighter copper color. Males will get darker in color over time, but they both have some horns on their head. The tannish colored antelopes over there are the greater kudu. Those are female greater kudu. They do not have any horns on their head. Males have horns that can reach up to six feet in length. Very, very long horns on the male greater kudu. But we are making our way out of the forest now. Let's go down toward the river. See if we can find some animals hanging out down there. This cousin Jimmy know me too long? <laughs> this is the Safi River here, friends. Safi River can be home to hippos. We'll keep our eyes peeled. We'll probably see a couple of them out here. There are a couple down on that right-hand side. Not exactly the best view for us, so we are going to keep trying up ahead. There are some pink-backed pelicans as well, though, on the right-hand side. The white and gray-colored birds over here, they have a wingspan anywhere from 7 to 9 feet, so they are some pretty large birds as well. On the left, some more Nile hippopotamus. Hippos are among the largest animals in Africa, weighing up to hey, 5,500 pounds. They do spend most of their day in the water like this, so of course to stay nice and cool. Hippos can hold their breath for up to 8 minutes at a time, so they can be below that surface for quite a while. And they are herbivores, which means they eat plants. They eat anywhere from 80 to 90 pounds of food per day, which is really not that much compared to that 5,500 pound body weight that they do have. Coming around the corner here, we got some more dangerous animals down on the left hand side. Some Nile crocodiles. Some on land and some few are lurking in the water. Make sure we're keeping those little ones fully seated on their bottoms. Remember, you are not repeating. Your child is not Simba. We don't want to recreate the Lion King out here today. Who wants to go for a swim? Nile crocodile are the largest of the crocodilians in Africa. They can get up to 16 feet in length, and they can weigh anywhere from 500 all the way up to 1,000 pounds. Now, Nile crocodile will usually only feed about once a week. They can consume up to half their body weight in a single feeding. However, the Nile crocodile can also go up to nine whole months without eating any food at all. Now friends, we are holding tight here. There is an animal in the road very, 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 very far in front of us. I believe I heard it was one of the Ancoli cattle uh -oh. hanging out in the road. Pretty common. Those guys are a little bit slower moving though, so we could be stuck here for a little bit longer. They both need to go on a diet. <laughs> Although it sounds like they might already have moved out of the road here, so we should be back on the move here rather shortly. If we do have any first time safari riders back here, this is very, very common. This Nobody happens all Renee. day long. She's from Our the animals Netherlands. are able to free roam That's around Europe. here. So oh, sometimes, oh, oh, yeah, away. that means they get in the middle of the road. And yeah, we just have to wait for them nope. to move out of the We're road. We're good. Wow. Yeah. Look, it's not but like high. I said, it sounds yeah. like they've already moved. So we'll see here if we can start moving in wow. a couple moments here for you. <coughs> Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us, Renee. Yes, I'm trying to keep quiet so I'm not bothering you. Yes. You can tell them they can hear you too. Probably next to you, you don't know that. Yeah. <laughs> Lily, KBI or uh, Safari Jam? KBI. KBI. No, Safari Jam. Say Safari Jam. Truck's not broken. I have a phone the truck's not broken. Our driver's doing well. She just can't. Oh, Lily wants to check out the chat. So. Uh oh. Oh, you're absolutely welcome for us taking, yeah, we, we're loving. Once again, you friends, we are safari hanging ride, tight here. Sure. Looks like we should be moving pretty soon. I do appreciate your patience back there. Oh, we're good. Right. Like I said, this happens all day long. Never a dull day here at Kilimanjaro Safaris. That is for sure. Savannah. This is where I'm going to get some of
of your favorite friends are probably hanging out. You might be able to find some giraffes, hopefully some zebra, and the Ancoli cattle that were just in the road are definitely hanging out down here somewhere as well. Have <laughs> yeah, those cameras ready to go. Before we make our way on out there, do take a look over here on your right-hand side. There is a baobab tree there. The baobab tree is also known as the upside-down tree because it sort of does look like its roots are up at the top. That's because these trees can remain leafless for up to nine months out of the year. It is to conserve water. They can potentially hold thousands of gallons worth of water inside of their trunks. Very important during ride, that right? drought season. Coming. Of course, that drought can last for months at a time. But we're gonna slowly start making our way on down onto this West Savannah, see who we can find first out there here. There we go. Love this scene. Looks like we're gonna start off with the giraffes and the Amcoli cattle out here. There's a couple of drabs over on this side. We'll look for the rest of the tower up ahead. A group of drabs is called a tower, by the way. But do take a look on your right-hand side. You can see a couple of them right over here. These are all Maasai drafts on the reserve here, friends, which are the tallest of all draft species. They can get anywhere from 18 to 20 feet tall, and they have 18-inch long prehensile tongues. Prehensile means finger or hand leg, so they use their tongues to wrap around the branches and then they strip all the leaves off for them to eat. Just like the okapi that we saw way back in the forest, the okapi has that exact same purple prehensile tongue. That's one way that we know that they are in fact related to the drafts. On the left, next to the den over there, there's one of the painted dogs. We'll look for the rest of the pack out here. They got the name painted dogs from their unique calico coloring that they do have. And I know that these guys do look super cute and cuddly, but these are the most successful predators in all of Africa. They're more successful than hyena, and they're more successful than lions in their hunts, statistically speaking, of course. Like down behind the den over there, here's another one. Looks like they're getting ready to take some naps for the day. That is oh. A-OK. -okay. This is the culprit. She was the one that was in the road here on your left-hand side, one of the Amcoli cattle. Now, males and females do have these horns on their head, and they can be eight feet from tip to tip. Absolutely massive horns. There's also some sable antelopes on the left-hand side, the dark brown colored antelopes laying down over there. Males and females have those horns on their head. They can reach four feet. Zebra is in it. Giraffes are up. The Hartman's Mountain Zebra are on the left hand no. side with some giraffes over here as well. Hartman's Mountain Zebra are the smallest of all zebra species. Now a group of zebras is called a dazzle. That's because when they are in a group, they dazzle or confuse their predators. They can't tell one zebra apart from the next. There's just far too many stripes for them. So when they do feel threatened, they gather tighter together in those groups. I'll try and confuse the predators just a little bit more. Another one of the Ancoli cattle on your right-hand side now. This is another female over here. Look at those horns. Luckily, these horns are relatively light on their heads thanks to a honeycomb-like structure on the inside. It does keep them almost hollow, so it doesn't weigh down their heads too much for them at all. They also Good do morning, have veins that run throughout their horns, for and it helps we regulate the cattle's body temperature. A lot of our friends out here have different tools for regulating their temperature. The zebras that we saw earlier have a flap of skin on the underside that of their neck, which is called a dewlap. Helps regulate their temperature. It's a nice little We're going to head on up to this draft over here. Pretty close to the road up this way. Looking for some more leaves to munch on. Drabs do spend most of their day eating. They only sleep for about 30 minutes per day. And it's only in one minute increments. Drafts also do sleep standing up, which that one would be pretty cool. I do have to admit, that'd be pretty fun. Let's see, I see some little tiny guys over this way. They're kind of hard to see, but they're all up over on this hill on the right hand side. Way over there, laying down, there's some little tiny tannish colored antelopes over there, all up on the hill. Those are called the springbok. And those are fully grown adults, believe it or not, they don't get any bigger than that. 
springbok get their name because they can spring six feet into the air. They can also leap 13 feet forward. That's known as pronking. It's their favorite way to travel. But there are also some very fast runners. Springbok can run anywhere from 50 all the way up to 60 miles Always per hour. So they may be small, but they are packed with some power. Another big drag. Another couple of drabs out this way. This one's hiding on the right-hand side behind this tree over here. But I also do see some downed trees over this way. That tells me we might be headed in to elephant territory. So let's keep those eyes peeled once again back there, explorers. We might be able to spot an elephant somewhere up ahead. Oh, I see it. Oh, there you go. Take a look on the right-hand side. We've got two female African elephants. How can we tell these are African elephants, friends? Does anybody know? Because we're in Africa, duh. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It is their ears, very good explorers. African elephants ears are shaped sort of like Africa itself. So that is how I can tell. Now, like I said, those are a couple of females back there. That weighs somewhere between 10 to 12,000 pounds. Males can get all the way up to 14,000 pounds. So a little bit larger compared to those females over there. We're gonna try and see if we can find some more elephants up ahead here for you. I do know a shortcut, so we'll head on over that one. Oh. oh man, looks like my shortcut is actually closed here, friends. Wasn't expecting that at all. We are gonna have to go the long way. Hope you don't mind too much. But going the long way does mean that uh, we have to head across this rickety old bridge here. It does look a little rough, so uh, I'll see you on the other side. We made it, friends. I knew we would. Let's try and see if we can find some more elephants up ahead, shall we? Yeah, I love the enthusiasm. We are coming up on some red clay pits here. I can see some elephant footprints that are down in this clay. Oh, and take a look over on the right. Those are some elephant tusk marks. Elephants will dig their tusks into the clay to loosen it up so they can eat it. There are a ton of minerals inside of that red clay that are really, really good for the overall health of the elephant. So it's one of the little snacks that they do like to have. It's only going to be from time to time, however, when they might actually feel that they're a bit more deficient in something. It's kind of like a medicine for them. A few more females over here. Let me try and get you a better view of these guys on the other side here. Still on that left hand side. Get these elephants. I'll take a look over this way. There they are. Any baby elephants out there? <laughs> now, elephants do run in what's called a matriarchal society, which Pretty actually does mean that they're all females. So once the males get into their teenage years or somewhere in there, they are going to head off on their own. And if they don't, Mama will eventually kick them out. Now, males can meet up with other males if they want to. They can also choose to just stay alone, live that bachelor life the rest of their lives. It's totally up to them. But once a female is born, she does stay with her mother for the rest of her life. Everybody say, aww. Aww. I know, so cute. I'm doing the exact same thing with my mother. <laughs> over this way but I do see some pink animals over here. We've got some flamingos. greater flamingos down on the left hand side. Baby, oh, ducks. baby ducks. Greater flamingos are the largest and the lightest pink of all flamingo species. They get this pink color from their diet. They eat brine shrimp and algae, just a little guy. which contain beta carotene. Now the beta carotene is specifically what gives them that signature pink color. Greater flamingos well, like I said, they are the largest. They can weigh up to a whopping nine pounds. Yeah. And a group of flamingos is called a flamboyance. So you did just see a flamboyance of flamingos. Not too bad, my friends. We are now 
headed on into the east savannah. You're going to notice a change in the scenery out here in the east compared to the west. It's a bit more green, Thanks, Reed. more lush. That's very nice. That'll bring in a totally different group of animals. One of the specific animals we're going to be searching for out here, despite their very large size, they can hide real well within the brush. They blend in and look like rocks. We're going to look for some white rhinos out here, friends. Now, I'm not seeing any of them over here so far. But the east one is quite large, so we're going to head all the way over to that other side, see if we can maybe find some of these white rhinos out here. I do, however, see a cheetah. A couple of cheetah, actually. Oh, of the cheetah, cheetah, cheetah. named couple Cakes females. and Sequins. There's one walking around, <laughs> one laying down on the left-hand side. There you go, there you go. That's as close I've ever seen it, Jen. Take a look at that. One is laying down in the middle of the grass over there, and then this other one is walking. Going bye bye, Cheetah. Miles per hour. Cheetah, surprisingly, don't really have the best night vision. So oh, there's the other one way back there if you can see it. I'm not sure if you can. That way, they don't have to there he goes. With other animals like lions who go do their hunting primarily at night. Few more cheetah laying down. Sitting up over oh, yes, on the left hand side, way in the back. I agree with you. Right, the white kind of rhinos the are my no fave. Now, cheetah also do have non-retractable claws. That means that their claws are out all the time, so they can get a better grip into that earth, and that helps them reach those super, super high oh, yeah, speeds of bad. theirs. <laughs> but okay. speaking of lions, we've got this Kobe rock formation up here. Lions like to use Kobe rocks to survey uh, the land, see what's going on all around. No, I'll get through this. So we're going to keep an eye out for a lion up here, but I also do see a rhino up ahead. Oh, so the rocks look empty. Rhino couple different animals out here. There's a rhino laying down up on this hill. Oh, there's a rhino. You see him up there? Over oh, on the right hand side and there's a few more hanging out down this way as well. All on the right hand side. White rhinos are much larger than the black rhinos we saw earlier. These guys can weigh up to 6,000 pounds. Rotating their ears around quite a bit, they don't really have the best vision, so they kind of rely on their hearing to judge about how far away our trucks are from them. There is a lion up here. He's laying inside. That is a male lion. He's got a fluffy mane around his neck there. He That's is taking a nap. That's pretty on brand. While you'll sleep anywhere from 16 to 20 hours a day. Now they sleep so much, not out of lazy, He's tired. to conserve their energy. As I mentioned before, look Males and the pride that do the hunting. The males actually stay back and watch after the cubs. That's their job. There are very, very complex relationships within a lion pride. Everybody's got to play their part, make sure that everything runs Might have a little unstable. I do see some warthogs over on the left-hand side. If you look at that burrow, laying down above that burrow, oh, yeah, there, right there are there. three fuzzy, well, they look like rocks, but those are, in fact, some fuzzy warthogs. Pumba translates to foolish. Warthogs are anything but foolish, though. Very intelligent animals. They are some of the largest burrowing animals. Now, they can dig those burrows themselves, but a lot of times they don't actually feel like it. So they will steal burrows from other animals, and then they back inside of them. That way, those razor-sharp tusks are at the entrance. In case anyone tries to enter, they're ready to fight back. One last look at the beautiful white rhinos over there. They are grazers, so they graze on the grass or the hay that you can see down there as they kind of go along. A group of rhinos is called a crash, so you did just see a crash of white rhinos. And I did see some ostrich eggs over here. Yeah, on the right-hand side, on the right of that dirt path in the grass down there, that is a clutch of ostrich eggs. There you go, Reed. They're still here. Ostrich eggs are the largest eggs in the world, of course. In fact, two dozen chicken eggs equals the weight of just one ostrich egg. And they're also very strong. A grown adult can stand on top of an ostrich egg, and it will not break. We're now headed on into the Glen. Warden's Post is up ahead. They've got some adorable Nigerian no, dwarf wait. goats. We'll take a quick look at these cuties over here on the left-hand side. And they are a pretty small species of goat. Super social. Oh, they're way over there. They love to run around, play with one another, 
Sometimes they do even cuddle with each other, especially if it's raining. And they are grazers as well. They munch on the grass and the weeds all day long. So to help them digest all of that, Nigerian there you go, Mandy. Okay, we'll send you some goats. Just like cows, they have four chambers inside of their stomachs. But my friends, unfortunately, our safari is coming to an end here. I know, I'm super sad to see you go too. I do really hope you had fun out there in the Harambe Wildlife Reserve. I do want to say asante sana, everyone. That does mean thank you in Swahili. Thank you all so very much for joining me out there. I hope you learned something new. Now, we are a VIP truck. That means we're headed all the way back up to the very same dock that I picked you up at to drop you off. This does mean we have a little bit of a longer journey than most. We are going to pass two unloading ducks right up here, but these are not going to be for us. Like I said, taking you all the way back up. Now, this journey will be worth it in the end, I do promise. We are going to get to see an area that normally only us cast members get to see. We're going to drive underneath three bridges to get you back on up to Cake that dock. So a little bit of a backstage <laughs> tour here today. Let me call them and let them know that we're on our way back up. All right, I hope everyone enjoyed that safari. That was a good one. All right, like I said, we're passing through these docks here. Everybody say Jumbo to my friend Randy up here. Everybody say Jumbo. 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 Thank you so much for letting us pass on through here. And we're headed around this way as well. Now friends, this little spot right here, this does begin our backstage tour. Bum, ba -da -bum, bum. Normally only us cast members get to go this way, but like I said, since you're VIP, we're gonna head right on through this area here. You actually did cross over one of these bridges to get to my truck here today, but now, ladies and gentlemen, the ninth wonder of the world, the backside of the bridge. Ooh. Everybody say ooh. You just scared everybody up on that bridge. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. They'll be just fine. They're like, how'd it go? Right, friends, I promise, promise, promise Yay. you're not going to be stuck with me here forever. It was a good we are trip. almost awesome. there. This truck in front of us here is going to load up with some friends. They're going to head out on their adventure, and your dock is the one that is just around oh, the corner from this. What is next? So yeah, we are almost next there. The gorillas, right? I do so promise. The now, once again, friends, my we'll name is Haley from by the Minas gorillas. Water. Here next. If you have any questions about anything you just saw out there on the reserve, please. Please feel free to come on up to my window up here once we disembark. I'd be more than good, happy to answer those questions a good for you, friends. My windows are quite channel, literally always Subscribe, Lily would appreciate it. We are trying say to say hi and ask away. Right, we're going to try and course, get closer to that 1,000 k stuff. That's what Lily's really left, hoping for. So make sure, behind. It is, again, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't. It does not cost anything. Lily, enjoy it, Lily. Say subscribe. subscribe. Now, if you yeah, do yeah, you want go. to go on the Gorilla <laughs> Falls Trail, it is going to be at the exit of our safari here today. Once you head on down the ramp, just take a left, you'll be inside of that Gorilla Falls Trail. If you're not interested in checking out that trail, just take a right, and that'll take you all the way back on up into the village. This not... truck right here does have to head on out, and then it will be our turn to dock on up here. I do appreciate your patience. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure we're going to do now, anything for lunch Now, on that Gorilla Falls Trail, it does take about 15 to 20 minutes to do. I don't know if we have time for that, but unless you get any early lunch. Very family-friendly. Scooter, wheelchair, stroller, all accessible Somebody's to anything like that. Somebody's got to work, Ray, Jean. Yeah. <laughs> on that trail, you'll find animals that would be your cats, so we'll some yeah, naked we'll mole rats from any Kim Possible fans back there. And, of course, the Gorilla Falls Trail is also going to have, believe it or not, some gorillas. Time is a moving. It's already 10-16. Along with many other animals to check out as well. It is super, super fun, friends. It's actually one of my favorite things here at Disney's Animal Kingdom, so I highly, highly recommend that you check that one out, of course, if you've got the time today. Now, there is another trail over in Asia. That one is called the Maharaja Jungle Trek. On that trail, you'll find animals like some very big fruit bats. They've got some Komodo dragons. And they also do have some Sumatran tigers. If you're looking for tigers in the park today, friends, uh, the only place to tigers. see those tigers is going to be on that Maharaja Jungle Trek <laughs> Trail. So just make sure that you make your way on over there if you do want to see some of those beautiful, beautiful big cats. 
Does mom like tigers? Though? All right. Yep. <laughs> this truck is about to get the all clear signal, and we are going to get cleared on it. Once again, friends, name is Haley. Thank you so very much for joining me out there. Thank you so much for your patience through that animal stop. We made it all the way on back. But friends, here in Harambe, we do not like to Renee, say goodbye. We're gonna head over it's way to too the, sad uh, and final. So instead, uh, I'm going to leave you all with a Qualharini. Gorilla exhibit here. Qualharini. In a second, that'll be our well. next adventure so here. Qualharini. Go well and go wild. Go enjoy the rest of your day here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Or maybe we're going to go or to the bird show. Or, of your adventures may take you out there. We'll find out as soon as we get off this ride. <laughs> oh. oh, you're right. Watch your hands, arms, feet, and legs. Doors are going to slide open. Qualharini, everyone. Go well. Go wild. We'll see you well, real again, soon. Again, we just got done Thank with you the so uh, safari. I hope you guys here. enjoyed it. Stay hydrated out there today. I know it's cool out now, but it's about to get hot. Yeah. Did we have fun out there? Thank you for such a great tour. Oh yeah, thank you guys for coming. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna get off here. We're just waiting for Lily to get unhooked and we're on our way. And you are free to go. Alright, Lily. And we are on the move. Here we go. Have a great day. Thanks again. You did awesome. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, she was a great tour guide. She was awesome. And we are on the move. Here we go. Good morning, Ashley. Hitchhiking Bones is here, Lily. Did you say hi? Hi, Hitchhiking Bones. <laughs> All right, which way are we headed? This way? Okay, let's just go this way. We're here. So we're off to the gorillas. Hey, thanks for coming with us, Renee. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, she was awesome. I'm going to see if we got anything up here. We do have uh, something behind the tree, of course. You can see legs behind the tree right there. <laughs> oh, head's picking up. Okay. I think he's moving anytime soon. So we'll find Lily. Can I stand up here real quick? Okay. Where's Lily? There she is. <laughs> and here she comes. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> I remember back in the day this wasn't roped off we used to go up here <laughs> obviously it got too dangerous <laughs> oh Eli how are you doing Thank you, napkins. napkins let's find some napkins for Eli after this okay <laughs> Please let Lily, oh, Surfer Girl says hello, Lily. Hey, Surfer Girl. Say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> All right. No now, okay. okay, is there? Maybe. Maybe. We'll find out. So the mom lets you in. I don't know if we're gonna check out the bugs here because we're on a time, time constraint, so. But yes, lots of insects, lots of bugs. Yeah, we're gonna skip this part. Right to the exit. <laughs> no, we're good. Yes, there. Awesome. Lily's always my director, my producer, always asking, oh, bird's flying. So, all right, let's go take a look at some fish at least. Did I miss something? What did I miss? What did I miss? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, we got a couple of them. Ooh, look at this guy. That's a beautiful bird. Absolutely. Um, Surfer Girl Week. Yeah, we're looking forward to seeing you when you get back down here. 
Go ahead, though. All right, we got some fish. There we go. Hello, fishy. There's a nice waterfall up here, too. Yes, Paige, Lily's in charge. There we go. And more fish down here. Yeah. And hopefully we get a look at a hippo here in a second. So. And here's a better look at the uh, waterfall. They're having some fun. We're ready though. Thank you. Nate, oh. Dame made it, Lily. Dame. Oh, I'll get you. I can't open the door. Say it. Do it again. Hi, Dave. <laughs> yeah, that darn work gets in the way. Yeah, I know. I got that coming. Uh oh. Do we have anything to look at? Let's see. Oh, he's right here in front of us. Okay. Excuse me. Look at this. Here we are. There he goes. Head up. Heads up a little bit. You see him though? Yeah. He's a big boy. That is a female. He is a big boy. The fish do the fish bother him really or no? No. Awesome. Now he won't move for another hour. So okay. There we go. Awesome. Normally this room is packed when the hippo's that close, so it's it was good. There goes Lily. There goes Lily. You guys have been awesome with the chat so far this morning. We appreciate it. I'm happy we're able to bring you some Animal Kingdom fun here. So. Let's go see if we can see some... Uh, We'll get in right over here. Yeah, look at the little guys. <laughs> there you go. That's awesome. Christine, slow down, Lily. Yeah, no kidding. She will run me over. Oh, there's a couple. Yes, that's awesome, isn't it? Lily? Look at this guy right here. He is just soaking it up. If you can see him, see if I can zoom in on this. Yeah. Oh, he's he's cleaning himself now. But these are little ones. Now nah, he moved a little bit. But let's see what we got over here. Here's another little one here. Closer. There we go. Nice. Oh yeah, no, yeah. We don't ask for that. <laughs> boys will be boys. <laughs> G, keep it G, right? Okay, let's go. <coughs> All right. I'm your cats. Yes. Sorry, I'm way behind on the chat. Let's get in here and see. It's gorilla time.
the Tomorrow with Land Traveler. Hello. Thanks for coming in. On behalf of Lily and her family. Awesome. Yes, absolutely. Head into a meeting. Diz our dream. Thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. Definitely spread the word for us, okay? I'm going to make sure I get caught up out here. Awesome. Eli took some time off from work today. Much needed. So, yeah, that's good. Absolutely. Okay, let's see what we got up here. Oh, we got a little, guys. Here we go. <laughs> we can see them. Oh, there we go. But we monitor their parking. We gotta get over there. Right wow, they are out in full force today. Every year, you know, over on the side over here, there's a little one with some more. We're going to wait for some people to move out of the way. Yeah. 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 Well, is he coming down? Okay. okay. Maybe we're going to close up with this one. We keep stopping the little one. Yeah. 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 He takes off all of the outside Yes, hitchhiking bones. We just got off that ride. I'm not sure when we got on here, but yeah, we just got done with the safari. It was awesome. I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna try and get over here and see if this gives this little guy. Oh. That's threatening. We wave at them. We have to threaten them. We also lock eyes. That's the same. So if the gorilla is looking at us, we're looking down and she's just back. Probably the big guy ain't over here. This is a very young lady. Just entered adulthood. It takes 14 years for gorillas to develop into adults. <laughs> Lazy one. Yeah. <laughs> Two mothers. He's got Connor. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. Oh, of course. There it is. Look at Clapton. Oh, jeez. There is a little guy. He's looking at everybody. Are also herbivores. They do not eat monetary food, contrary to how He's having a good morning. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are getting some fun action here today.
questions really so fascinating. So much to learn. <laughs>
Uh, Azizi is eating, surfer girl. Alright, we're going to move on. Maybe after one more little brawl. I think Jenny could sit here all day and watch this. I could. It's just amazing. That's awesome. Alright. Okay, thank you. Let's go a little. Awesome. That was like the best grill experience we've had in a while. So we're not even done yet. Awesome. We'll see if we got some other grillers on this other side, right, Lil? That was pretty good. It's turning into a beautiful day here. I'm so sad I have to go back to work later. So. Lily and Mom are going to have a full day, though, so. We're going to go back home. i got to start work. Mom and Lily will be back out to Disney property. Meet up with some friends later tonight. And check out the Yeehaw Bob Show. Right, Lily? Yeah, the Yeehaw Bob Show. If anyone's seen that. Oh, it's a little bumpy here. Oh, oh, Lily, stop making the bridge bounce. <laughs> yeah, Lily's going to check that out with Mom for the first time later tonight. So that's going to be interesting. So. Yeah, we're going to check out the lap, Surfer Girl. Thank you. I see one up there. but Oh, yeah, there's some big boys up there. Let's see if we can get them. See one sleeping. I see a couple smaller ones actually. So one's eating, the other one's sort of. Big. Yeah, yeah. We got it. Probably it's just the big boys over there. Yeah. If you decide to do this car, Russ and Punch. Yeah, that's right. We did lose Gus, the gorilla. Oh, you already did. Yeah. Then yeah. Then you pretty much would have done everything to do in Africa. Okay. And then once you do Pandora, once you're done with your lightning in Pandora, you can either decide to go to Dino. Awesome. There they go. These are bigger ones. Okay. Yeah. See if we got another view here. Yes, work always gets in the way of fun. I don't see anybody on this side, but... It's okay. Yep. Way back there. We'll be down here in the corner. Nice little waterfall, though. Yeah. Oh, there they're moving a little bit. Jeff, hello. Okay, let's move on to the next thing. Ready, though? Yay! She's like, I'm done. <laughs> Where are they done. What time is it, though? 10.42. 10.42, because time is a moving. Okay. There are a few more things we got to check out yet. All right. So far, so good, everybody. While I got the time, I want to thank the mods uh, for Lily's Life's channel. We really appreciate you guys being here and keeping an eye on things for us. And uh, Lily, give the mods a thumbs up. Say thumbs up. There we go. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. Oops. Tangling this up here. So. 
But, um, <laughs> what? Why are you laughing? He thinks you're coming down with a little feed and a pot and you're not feeling that you don't know what Is that what it is? Yeah, I, I like that. Unfortunately, some of my coworkers know about Lily's last channel. I don't think I can do it. <laughs> I like the idea though. There's a waterfall back here. <laughs> Is that Kelly's spot? He's way back there. There's another. Oh, there's one jumping right over here. There he is. And then he's gone. He's on a mission too. Okay. Let's go. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. We are on the move. So, Jen, what's next on our agenda here? What time is it? All right, you guys want give us a thumbs up. Do you want us to head to the bird show? That starts at eleven fifteen, so we can make our way over there. What? Yeah. How does she know it's 1130? Oh. Oh, okay. Don't turn so fast. Sorry about that. <laughs> we try and slow her down. All right. Got a lag? Are we? Are we going? Good. There's someone that's got personal lag. Bird show. Dame says bird show. <laughs> Feathered friends in flight. Hi though. Okay. Do you want to drive? Okay. Let me just get out of the way here. We can't stop right here. So let's get a little bit more in the open. If you guys do experience any lag, we do apologize for that. Disney is Disney when it comes to the cell reception out here. So we do our best. So. Oh boy, we got some acrobats coming. So Might be some good timing, but yes. We always appreciate you bearing with us if we do have any issues with the uh, reception. So. Maybe your other option of virtue is probably virtue. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe just walk it over. Oh,
with you guys, we got a show! Yeah. Okay, guys, don't go nowhere. It's dancing time. So we need everybody on the stage and dance with us. Oh. Everybody! <laughs> Very easy, very easy. Come on, let's go, come on. Are you ready to go? No, I don't want that part. Huh? I don't want to pee it. You want to show her some more? I'll tend to dance here while the people laugh. Really? <laughs> Okay, let's go, because I'm walking in. Okay. You're fine. No, you're fine. <laughs> you ready to go? Come on, yeah. Let's go. Just a little bit. Hey, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah. All right. So when I said Arambe, you said acrobatic. Arambe! 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 Bend the knees down. And before we start, please get comfortable. Bring back in the club. Move on his foot. Bring back in the club. Everybody, is she doing good? You think you're doing good, Lily? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, it's another boat, but we missed it. That's okay. There's the tree of life. You gonna go? Yeah. You find a better spot. You gonna come down here? Yep. Oh, no, I think I'm gonna Lily's driving. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Let's go take a look, right? Mm. Say, it's the tree you like. Not the backside. Not see the light and sun. Yeah, the sun's right in the face. Can you get it in there or no? 
Yeah. You might have to help her. That's going to be too far. You guys put it underneath the lake. It's fine. Look at phone. Well, it looks fine on the phone, Lily. Go into my leg. Please, please. Oh, Lily, we were just told by Teddy that you're at 831 subs now. Yep. You're doing great. Please. Awesome. Can they see it? Okay, let's keep going. They were on the move. We'll we're on the move. Buzz is flat. Doing great. Good, good. Your little hidden spot here, eh? You get much action or no? <laughs> yeah, it's for my home, yeah. Let's go! Hi, Sue. Hey, bigger. Hi, Sue, bigger. Hi, Sue, and bigger. Excuse Starting to get warmer out. Right, Lil? Yeah. Oh, we gotta find some napkins. That's I'm it. On, That's no, it. I'm on it. All in a mission. No, I'm on a mission. <laughs> mm. Oh, here's a better spot. There. Cheney. Right here. I'm gonna show you. Just to go up. So tell me when to stop. Down. You good? There you go. Right there? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Say the tree of life. What animals can you see? It's too far away. I don't know. I can see it. Where, where are we going, Marina? We're heading over by the bird show, I think, right, though? No, eating even no. All right, let's keep going. Let's find you some napkins, girl. Napkins. Let me do this really quick, Lily, just to make sure we're in a good spot with your camera. Ready? No. Okay, perfect. Whatever you want to get I'm going to bird show. Nothing. <laughs> See, we've been slacking. There, say, i am got them. Here, four for you, Lily, okay? There we go. <laughs> say, right here. You got it? Yep. All right. Good luck on me. What are you holding? I'm picking it up. There, you yeah, have the teddy and cakes and then the berry. Game? No, Marla got some. And Eli. Yay, that Okay. Lily, we got 25 minutes before the bird show, so let's keep walking over here and take a look at some other stuff, okay?
Okay, let's go. Enough of me on camera. <laughs> What restaurant are we coming up to, Lily? Yaki Yeti. Yak and Yeti. Has anyone eaten at the Yak and Yeti? We have. Did you like it? Yep. Yep. I'm going to a restaurant tonight. You are going to a restaurant tonight. Yeah. But big troublemakers, they know I'm a mess. <laughs> You're such a bad letter. <laughs> <laughs> it's Take the Mandy tonight. Yay! I'm just kidding. Go Blue! Are you giving that to Cakes? Okay. Ohio. You want to go check out Everest really quick? Just to go over there and come back? We'll get a view of Everest. How's that sound? Yeah. Millie is still driving. She is still filming, right? Yep. Who's in charge? Me. <laughs> um, it's, an, it's not daddy's flight. It's not mommy's flight. It's not mama's flight. It's not just flight. It's Lily's flight. Oh, here we go. That's an easy edit. I can fix that. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Where are you going? We're going to see if there's any. I don't see any yet. <laughs> Is the wine more food? Do <laughs> oh, I don't know, boo. Somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I lost some grip. There you go, I got it. How are you doing, friends? Good, thank you. You're nice. Sorry, people. Hang on. What happened? We'll fix this. There we go. We're back. <laughs> Operator error. It's fun when you're char charging your phone and then you accidentally pull on the cord a little too hard. Gimbal goes for a ride. So, yes, Grace wants to know if you're having fun, Melly. Yes. Been a good morning so far. There he is. 
Dame says do it and then get on the water ride. I say, no way. <laughs> the monkey has like a bottle or something. Oh, there's the rapid. Can you see the river ride way over there in the background? Yeah, you know the river. Summer ride. <laughs> there would be fun right now. Ah, I don't want to get my today. Right? Anybody else? Oh, you jungle trek. They always say there's tigers, but we rarely see them. I don't know why that is. So Grace, the weather is beautiful. <laughs> Not complain. Gonna be low 80s, high 70s today, and sunny. We'll get our rain tomorrow though.
You. We've been here the whole time. Well, yeah, let's go to the bird show. Let's go to the bird show. <laughs> okay. Let's move on to the bird show. Or does Lily want to hold it again? Huh? Yeah. All right. Let's get in the shade. Lily's giving me the look. I was like, okay, she wants it. She wants the gimbal. Okay, that's good. Kind of tangled up here. You got it? Up again. You got it or not? Yep. Say, I'm back, people. I'm back. <laughs> no, you got to be excited about it. I'm back. <laughs> you got it? Yeah. Okay. Do you want this under your leg again, Lily, or no? Can I put it under there? Yeah. Well, first thing I'm going to do is make sure it's what it is. Okay. There you go. Good? All right. Are you making that noise, Lily? No. I'm not telling you, but you're not live streaming at night. No. no. Just vlogging. Oh, this is it. 
So what's your favorite bird in the bird show? Do you remember? A parrot. Oh, the parrot. E oh, I E I O. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. Yeah. We haven't been to the show in a long time. No lagging there. I love. Okay. I want. I want. Watch it. Yep. No lagging. Okay. You swim up. That's it. It's okay. fine. <laughs> oh. oh. Okay. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. What's the line? Oh yeah. No, that's fine. a background. No, All fine. people are sitting down. Yeah, if you want to sit up front, we can get right, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Gimbal ride, tell everyone. I can't fix it. Gimbal ride. Alright, give him a ride. There we go. <laughs> We're such amateurs sometimes. Lily, Lily, Lily lost grip. She almost dropped the gimbal. <laughs> I said the monkey sounds like Kelly when I have owned spent his credit card. Does that sound about right? Yeah. What does Kelly sound like when that happens? Oh. oh. <laughs> uh oh. They're talking about Legos now. So. Burcho. I hope everyone's having a good time so far. I think we do the tigers and then might have to start heading it. Yeah. Morning live stream today for those, again, that are joining in late. We're going to do this bird show. Probably check out the tigers. We did the safari. We checked out the uh, gorillas earlier. That's some really good footage of that. So you're going to want to go back and watch that. So... But yeah, we're gonna check out this bird show and then uh, hopefully have time to see the tigers and probably start making our way to the exit because right, unfortunately, dad has to work today, so. But I think we've had a pretty darn good stream so far today, so. Yeah, you're so nice. <laughs> I know. Lily, you happy so far today? Yeah. Everything going good? Uh, yes. Uh, 
Oh boy, Legos, Legos and Legos. Remember, Dad, cough, cough, runny nose fever, yes. <laughs> I remember watching Ferris Bueller's Day Off and they said, you can't act too sick, you end up in the doctor's office. Like, what's going to work? <laughs> 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 Hello, I wish I could do that, that's for sure. <laughs> We already got some birds showing up over there. From the, other, from the other bird show? They got a little... I don't know how they control those birds. Like <laughs> Ken, you might be getting a migraine coming on. <laughs> you know what? I do feel a little something. <laughs> ah. You can't even put Michigan. He puts X on it. You know? So. I don't know if he did that on purpose. Is it next to the X? I doubt it. Yeah, I wish we'd had more time to get the Lion King show in, but next time. Cakes, reception been good? We've been outside all day. Hopefully, the reception's been pretty good for you guys. So. Yeah, thanks, Renee. They will catch me on the live stream. <laughs> that wasn't me. That's my twin brother, Kevin. Yes, Kate said that X was on purpose. So, Lily, again, what are you doing later tonight now? We won't be live streaming it, but where are you going tonight? You're going to a restaurant, and you're going to meet some friends of yours, right? And then, what restaurant? Do you remember what it is called, Jen? Boatwright. Boatwright, right? And then after that, you're going to go see a show. A bomb show. The the Yeehaw Bob Show, right? It's going to be exciting. That's the first time you've you've never been there. You've seen it sort of on YouTube just to see what it's about, but it looks pretty. It looks like pretty fun. I think Mom will be filming some of that, right? So, all right. Anyone seen the Yeehaw Bob Show? Oh, you've got a twin problem solved. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> you guys all sound like experts with a calling in sick. I don't. I don't understand. <laughs> Teddy, there will be more fan napkins when Marla is with us because she is the expert at making napkin fans. Napkin fans, yes. Do you have a napkin fan, Lily? Here. They want to see you do your napkin thing. Do your napkin thing. Here it comes. Oh, wait, Mommy. Help me. Get them out. Is the show starting? Oh, okay. Oh, I got one minute, but yeah. Lily says napkin dance will come soon. The music change. people once the show starts we will just let let you enjoy the show and we will be quiet as best I can. 
I'm getting a look. <laughs> Yay, napkin dance. So we're gonna do a napkin dance when the show is up, okay? You got it? Whoa! Is that the beginning? No. ever since the park's been open, dating all the way back to 1998. Right, and, and this is kind of like our favorite part of every day. We get to share awesome birds, like the one you just flew through. And did you see the one that cycle? I mean, what an awesome thing. And we get to talk about their adaptations and show you why that we think that's cool. Yeah, so what I was hoping, you know, with Harvey that just flew by back there, you know, I was thinking it'd be kind of neat to show off the agility, right? Yes. So, uh, I'm just gonna head out there with all of you. We're gonna cross our fingers and hope Harvey shows back up. I'm gonna need to help. I'm going to need help from a volunteer, excuse me, two volunteers to be precise, two people that want to get uncomfortably close to Harvey flying today, who wants to give that a shot, how about in the white t-shirt, in the white t-shirt, you guys stand up, that's side by side, yeah, you guys get closer together, make a hoop with your arms like so, the concept here is we want the bird to be able to fly through a space, because you're all now trees in the forest, we have two taller trees amongst you, we're going to see if Harvey can fly them through, there's our stage hand, thank you, Corey, <laughs> all righty. So we're going to see, he's going to zone in on exactly where he wants to go, got some treats, and now he focuses. He fires up the GPS. Fired up. Recalculate. <laughs> Proceed to the hoop. Oh, yeah! Nicely done. Kind of applause for our volunteers. Great job, you two. And we should probably point out, those birds can fly like that so they can catch flying insects literally right out of the sky. Yes. Oh, we had that thing you wanted to show off, right? What, what thing? You said there was something you were weaving in the bushes. No, 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 that was your idea. That was my idea? Yeah. No, you said it was your idea. No, you were the one who stole it from your child. Well, I did take it. I feel like it was going to work. Well, okay, do you want to try it? No, you can. Okay. Um, have any of you guys ever seen one of these before? Shout it out. What is it? A stop rocket, yeah. Um, I ruined this one. I drilled a hole down the inside of it. We're going to shove a grape inside. Now we have a grape launcher. Hey, do you see you have, they agree it's not gonna work. Do you have like a big grape we can shove inside there? I, I mean, yeah, I guess. Yeah, okay, so let, let's try this out. And you know what? And it's just supposed to like... Sh it's gonna shoot right out the top, okay. I promise. So, uh, in theory at least. So, I am not gonna try this out for myself, for my own safety reasons. I need to help volunteer, mainly a child. Who wants to give this a shot? How about in the picture right there? Come on up, my friend. Round of applause for our volunteer. Come on down. The grape has been installed in the launcher. What is your name? Alexis, it's nice to meet you, Alexis. Have you ever used one of these before? No, it's okay. I have seen them used before. What we do is we're going to have all these people out here come back from free. When they get into one, you stomp on that as hard as you can with your foot, look up towards the sky, we're going to see fireworks. They're not real fireworks, it's a grape. Just wanted to be clear. Okay, are you ready, Adam? I'm ready. Are you ready, Alexis? Okay, let's try it. In three. Two, one, whoa! Okay! Right, Thank you so much for Alexis! <laughs> Great job! See? That's pretty impressive. I cannot believe that that thing just works. Yeah, my kids are never getting this yeah. back. <laughs> okay, well, that's weird, but all right, Harvey, you were awesome. We've got a lot to do today, okay? So the way home is through the window, just right over here. You can hop up to that stick. Uh huh. You'll make a hop in front of you to the windowsill. And then what? And then hopefully he'll hang a left, but it'll be up to him because he's an independent being. What if he takes a right? Then there he will find the wall. Oh. Um, metaphorically and physically. Gotcha. Okay, he'll hang a left. And then we get to say, Harvey the trumpet or Hornbill. 
Thanks for letting me try with that. That was pretty good. Yeah, exactly. um, you know, we should also mention that not all birds have to rely on that agility type stuff. You know, some birds, like a pie crow here, they rely on their intelligence. Yes, this is a pie crow and he is very intelligent. But to show you that, we need another volunteer. Who's an adult this time? Sorry kids, an adult who also has a dollar bill at this point in your day. You see, you have one right here in the Superman shirt? Yeah, if you take out the dollar and stand up, <laughs> and you can tell the bird to fly to your arm because he doesn't have to recognize the human. He's learned that that dollar, and it's great, like if, so if you make a perch, want to see if it land on you? Okay, so Walker, what do you think? I've got some treats for you. Our friend is out here. You see the dollar? Look at that, he's on it. He went right to our volunteer to take his money. And he doesn't just take it, he's, where's it go? Show me where That's a nice, good job, it goes in my pocket. Great job, bud. Have a magical day, man. Good job. Okay, who else wants to work with a crow and has like a 20? Yeah. <laughs> Good, we'll bring your money back. Go ahead, stand back up. Um, we'll make it easy for the bird then just to palm in the air. And then hopefully he will take it and bring it and put it in your hand. If he does not do that, we know he works for the government, so that's good. Okay, you wanna take that? Do you remember where you got? Yes, he does, he remembers. And then if he puts it in your hand, just grab on using your fingers in the same hand. Perfect. You nailed it. Excellent job. Man. Great job, Walker. That was so good. Yeah. Hey, that is something you don't see every day. A crow. Honey back at a theme park. Yeah. <laughs> You're so good. Is there something on the ground that you want to eat? Okay, you can get it. Big spooky. Okay, will you go with me now? Yeah, good job. Good, good celebratory call. And then we'll send you on the, the window. The window. Oh, I love you too, Walker, but I have nothing more for hey, you. There's one for free. And then what do you think? Would you would you maybe come over here? This way? You're doing so good. You're gonna eat whatever that is. That's good. Nice. Here's the love that. Okay, come on. And then I'll even toss one for you on the way home in the window. What do you think? Okay, that's the one. Have a good day at school. That is a place to go. It is a, a choice that he can make. Would you talk about that bird right behind you real quick? Oh yeah, a little cardinal, everyone. That's pretty cool, right? He doesn't work here. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Auditions are next week, little guy. You're doing something good. I know, I know. But okay, so, it's pretty cool. No, this is pretty cool in general. Just not only that there's a cargo, but we're getting to opportunity to train with this crow because this is a new thing for this bird. She's only been through this window for like a week or so. So this is giving us a cool opportunity to show you a little bit of training. And uh, now we're gonna watch the crow check out a cardinal. What do you think this way? I've got I've got a tree for you right here. Okay, you're just gonna go back through there again. That's the old exit, the one that we're trying to phase out. So this is an interesting thing happening. What do you think? I've got some treats for you. You came right back, so I'm glad you did that. There's a treat. Would you come with me? Thank you. Good job. Okay, so now I'm just gonna try something a little different. Would you just hop up to the stick? The stick, right here. Is that a no? What's cool is that we're constantly trying to have a dialogue with these birds and trying to like help them achieve whatever we're working on too. So whenever she says no, that just gives us more information on what we should maybe change for the next time, right? So that tells me that maybe I'll try from this angle over here. And then if she says no, then we just read, we just readjust every time. What's cool though is that like in the training that we do, so this crow can go literally anywhere that she wants. So it's up to us to make it worth it for her to do anything that we ask for, right? So we're constantly listening to the feedback that we get from these birds as we work with them. And if they say no, then that's okay too, because they're totally allowed that right. And it's much better for the bird to say no by like going over there through that window than flying to Epcot. That is true. Yeah, you're doing something. Okay. All right. Fifteenth time is the charm. Okay, we'll try this thing. We, do you want to do it on your own? You can it's do a it on your own. Bird. Would you go up see here? Up here? You've been up here before. We'd like to welcome you to our 130 show. Yes. <laughs> what do you think, Walker? You're doing so good. I know. Thank you for stick, sticking around. You're doing really good. I'd rather you eat weird stuff on the ground than like leave. So that's good. Okay, come on. No? Okay, that's okay. What about this way? This is definitely not the tiki room, at least. No, yeah, 100%. <laughs> You're doing so good. The tiki, 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 tiki Ready? room. You, me? you want to do it in your own? You want to walk that way? <laughs> we can also just walk home, too, if you want. You don't have to. You could just go home that way if you'd like. Yeah, maybe just walk home. Yeah, I think maybe that would be the best way. What do you think? You're telling us that you need some more practice outside the show. So what do you think, Walker? Would you maybe go this way? You can finish up whatever's there. That's totally okay. You can even have it to go. That's good. Um, and if you're just not joining us, my name is Adam. This is Scott, and we're watching a crow outsmart two full-grown men. <laughs> which is kind of cool, actually, in my opinion. Yeah, you're doing so good. But we did say at the beginning that he's pretty smart. Yes, so, yes, they are so smart. And this is just further proof. Okay, now this way, I can hear them calling your name in the back. We'll see you later. <laughs> yeah, she's like, I'll walk home that way, actually. Walk to the pipe crow. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Okay, so hear me out. That didn't work to plan, but that's okay. We're fine with that. Yeah. Um, let's do something else that's kind of out of the ordinary. You guys want to see an owl fly? Okay. 
Yeah, okay, I know it's not really like dark outside, but the cool thing is owls can dilate their pupils, so it doesn't hurt them to be out in the daylight. They just see even better at nighttime. So I figured we fly an owl, you guys get your cameras out, you're gonna get some great photos, and it'll be pretty great, right? I think so too. And it's a great opportunity if you have not like been near a bird that this next guy, he flies through the whole theater. So it'll hopefully be a bird flying right over your head. Um, usually joins us from the window, like right behind us. Yeah, so. that guy right there. Yep. There His name's Ollie. He's a pretty awesome bird. He's called a, uh, he's called a milky eagle owl or a rose eagle owl. And as you saw, he flies pretty low, right? Now the neat thing is if you try to duck to get out of his way, he just flies lower. <laughs> but now you know, but check this out. Wow. It's pretty amazing, awesome, right? amazing predators. And yeah. what's cool about him is that he doesn't just fly nearly completely silently as he flew over all of your heads. He's also got awesome camouflage. I mean, look at how well he can blend in. If you look away from that owl and then look back in that direction without, like, fixating on where he is, it's hard to spot him, even though he has that light beam right on his back. It makes his birds blend in really, really, really well. So if there's a mouse or a rat or a, a, a snake, these guys will be able to hide easily from them. It see them with their excellent vision, they can hear them with incredible hearing, and they fly silently. Awesome predators. Yeah, all in all, they're like a total package when it comes to being a nighttime predator. We love having a bird like this around. I mean, he's gonna show you that beautiful face one more time. Great at having a staring contest. All right, buddy, you did a great job. More treats for the road. Ollie, the Milky Eagle Owl. An amazing little bird, and, and owls like that, all of those things, they come together to make them just incredible, incredible predators. I mean, they have those talents, the incredible hearing, the eyesight, the camouflage, all of that comes together. And I know he's from Africa, but like great horned owls all throughout North America, they could catch and eat like a thousand mice or rats in literally just one year. That is true. And we had a really bad rat problem around here. I think they heard about that, right? It was such a big deal. Yeah. And we didn't know what to do, so we brought in the owls, and the rats just disappeared. That's I mean, true. We haven't even seen a single rat. <laughs> no, <laughs> definitely not. And they, well, I'm out, I saw Mickey Mouse. Well, he comes out the We did see him. He signs the jacket. He's, He's a boss, yeah. yeah. Uh, but, you know, luckily for us, that rat problem is behind us now. Take that, Jungle Cruise. <laughs> there were rats! That's what we used to say, yeah. Thanks, Grandpa. Don't worry. And then, okay, what about this? What if What if we did some training for this? I thought we just did with Walker. I know, I know, but we did, it was like kind of like like half-hearted. I thought like we could we could do it full-hearted. Um, okay. They say that, right? People say that? Some people. Okay, yeah, so would you want to see some training? Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Because I remember the like the, the churro incident. Seriously. Okay. We got a raven who who almost got fired because she kept stealing churros from people. Okay. <laughs> well, we've been working on it out of show. This will be like her first day like back with people. Is that okay? If we try it. Yes. Okay. Cool. Because I brought some really good treats. You can okay. talk about how we work with the birds. It, it'd be cool. Uh, okay. Um. So we're gonna meet Pickles then. Pickles is a collared raven right here. Super, super smart birds, and we'll talk about her getting a treat right there. That treat let her know whatever she's doing before she got the treat, like flying to the rock. If she does it again, she'll get another treat, and that's how we communicate to the birds, right? It's like saying, you did something right. Do that thing again, get some more of your favorite treats, we're gonna make it worth your while, and here comes the churros. She's like, I found a churro! This, this is the problem in action, so this is cool. Oh, it's just a piece of popcorn, though. One piece so, of popcorn. That's okay, that's like 10 bucks out of the No, but look at this, she came back. Yeah, that is true. Treat. See, that's what we're looking to see. So Joey's gonna give her more treats for coming back up to the rock, and we can charge that behavior, let her know, hey, you did something right. There's better stuff up here. You wanna hang out with us, and it works out really, really well, right? So the thing, oh, 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 you just gave her a treat for untying my shoe. Whoa, 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 it was for coming back. I was like, good girl, you know, good, thank you for being here. Right, okay, uh, well, the thing ultimately what we're looking for is we're looking for a pattern, right? So yeah. because the pattern lets us know this is what this animal thinks, or most likely thinks, gets her those reinforcements, those treats, those consequences that she wants to participate in. So if you think about it like that, those behaviors when they repeat give us all the answers. <laughs> Bad. No. <laughs> Why? Are we untying shoes? Why not? I mean, it's a slight safety hazard. For you. Not for them, though. She didn't even really think about them. I mean, there's a piece of popcorn right there. She could go get it. I know, but it's like, what happens if she's not? Things? Which is great. We should celebrate that. I mean, watch. Go get the popcorn. Woo, we're, we're celebrating. No, no, we're not. No, she likes to let it go. See, look at that. She's going to cut over your shoes. Not a good thing. Hello? Hello? That was my microphone cord! <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> it's gone. Like, for real? Yeah. What if, what, 
what we do now. You could just, you could yell. Okay, well now you're just being difficult. Okay. What do we? Uh, Greg, Greg is our, our sound technician. Uh, we got a backup headset. Is the pack okay? So it's just like it's just the cable. Okay. Yeah. So we'll have somebody bring it out. No, we'll, we'll just we'll bring out the spare. We, what do you mean you'll go get it? Well, it's gonna be weird if you just leave in the middle of the show. No. You, okay, you're just your shoes untied. <laughs> Thank you. Glad you liked it. I might be fired. Um, hey, everyone, this is Adam. I'm also Adam. And that, it gets weird sometimes. I, I don't want a pretzel bite, but I do appreciate the offer. Anybody else? Pretzel bite. Uh, just one in the front row. I'm, I'm kidding. Don't throw it, please. I don't know what to do. Scott just ran off and his microphone's broken. And he's like, I gotta take my shirt off. And he doesn't have to do that. He can just put it down the back. It is weird. What if we just bring out a parrot? Do you want to meet a parrot? How about how about two? You want to do two? What if two two parrots? Fifty percent more excited. Okay. Yeah. You. Thank you. Okay. Cool. In just a moment, Adam um, will help us hopefully get two parrots out here that are amazing. Have you heard of parrots that can talk? Yeah. Okay. Cool. So that is an ability that we call mimicry, and you might have even heard the parrot screaming in the back, right? Can, can, I mean, like they're doing it right now. Um, that scream is how they learn to communicate with each other out in nature, right? Sometimes over miles in the forest, but when they grow up around people, instead of learning how to talk to the other parrots around, they copy some human sounds. And these two parrots are amazing little mimicking parrots. Um, Adam, give me a pretzel bite. No, thank you, I'm driving. Um, however, these two parrots, thank you, by the way, Lucy, I really appreciate you. Um, what do you think? Could we maybe say hello? Hello. Hello. Good job, girls. Um, and I would tell you their names, but they do that, and it's way cuter when they do it. So uh, the one up in the in the front, she's eating a treat. So let's ask this one. What's your name? Gabriella. Gabriella. That's right. Excellent job. Okay, there's a treat for you, cute girl. And then your name is Molly. You're Molly, right? Hello. Yeah, Molly. Molly. That's Molly. Yeah. Okay. So these two girls they grew up as pets in the home, and they learned all sorts of weird stuff. What do you want to show them? Molly, maybe. Be That one's really creepy. <laughs> what do you think? Would you say goodbye? Hey, we're out here. 
See you later, alligator. That's Wally and Gabby. Great job, you two. Ooh, wow, so good. You did so well. Um, and these two parrots, they are amazing. Okay, like it's so cool that they do what they do, right? They sing and they make all weird noises and call a cat. Why do they would do that? I don't know, but they do it. Um, the thing is, parrots like Molly and Gabby are some of the most difficult pets that you could ever possibly have. They're gonna chew themselves off the whole way. Check, 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 check. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. Hey, welcome back. Thanks. It works. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Okay, uh, well we brought Molly and Gabby out. Yeah. I mean, I was just talking about them because like parrots, they used to be pets. Okay, so like there's a reason they're not anymore and that's the parrots are really, really, really hard pets. Okay, they could bite really, really hard. They chew a hole in a tree in nature. And on top of that, most of the time they don't sing. Like in their whole lifetime, they never learn how to sing. And instead they scream really, really loud. I mean, they're like two in a million. And they could live quite a long time. I mean, parrots like that are a big commitment. Yeah, I mean, think about this. Those birds could literally live 50 to 60 plus years. That's a lot of, uh, Liquor Garacha at 5 a.m. Yes, and which is a lot less cute at that hour. Um, Guess what? We have a surprise for you. Okay, great. So Molly and Gabby are kind of small. He's not. Yeah, that's great. Everyone, this is Vlad. He's a pterodactyl. <laughs> He's not quite that big, but he is pretty large, right? He's a marabou stork, which is one of the largest flying birds in the world. You're looking at close to an 11 foot wingspan when he stretches fully out. Like that? Yeah. That's, he's a big boy, and what they do in nature makes these birds stinking incredible, okay? They come across something that has died, and like a vulture, they eat it, which is disgusting, but that is so important. It stops the spread of disease, and it makes these birds kind of nature's recyclers. They're an integral part of the ecosystem. Well, yeah, and if we all clean up the world in our own way, I'm pretty sure the world will be a lot cleaner of a place as well. Well, that's less we smelly. Yeah, that's for sure, too, absolutely. Now we get to see a marabou stork reach maximum speed. Wait for it. Okay. There it is. Vlad <laughs> well, the marabou stork! <laughs> he wasn't even running. That was top speed. Oh, okay. Uh, well, it's cool that we got to do that because things have been dying to meet him. Good one. One person loved it. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate you. <laughs> uh, why don't we, uh, I think that maybe filled enough time for the next bird, right? Yeah, should be. What do you think? Maybe like, I was thinking that guy? Yeah, let's, let's do that. Yeah, everyone, this is a crown crane. His name is Frazier. Frazier Crane. And if you uh, don't get that one, you could ask your grandparents. <laughs> uh, why don't you see if he'll fly down? You could like feed him. And yeah, have, uh, for, for you, because he doesn't fly down to me. This is because he flew the like margarita cart yesterday for like two hours for you? Yeah, I thought we were going to talk about that. Oh, you should just try it. It's a little weird. Like, like you flew away from me. The I, I know that, but you've been working on it really hard. Well, I've been trying. They've been really great. What do you, hold on, what do you think? Should Scott feed the crane? Yeah! Come on, you should do it. Okay, okay. I'll try. try. Here it goes again. You got it, Mark. You got it. treats? I do have treats. Okay, cool. That's okay, go and say here it goes again. You got your treats. Yeah. You got here in the right spot, right? Yeah. Like he's used to seeing somebody right there. All right, right here, buddy. What do you think? Frazier! Frazier! That one looks great, too. Frazier went the wrong way. Okay. Um, we'll just give him a bigger prompt. Okay. And I've got a training tool that's right. I keep it right over here behind the rock in case of an emergency. You won't even need to break the glass. Okay, crown cranes get their name from like that crown of golden feathers in their head, right? And like you two been really working on it. You got it. You found it. What is this? What do you mean? I mean, it's obviously a hat, but they do not want to see me wear a hat. Yes, they do. They really want to see me wear a hat. You did that to yourself. <laughs> You're such a handsome boy. Look you good. Your, you look good. Yes, you've got your crown. Yeah. You've got your treats. Uh huh. Big prompt. When he's looking, you can do it. You can. You got this. All right, Frazier. What? Yay. That actually worked. You did it. You think it was the hat? Not at all. <laughs> the hat was for us mostly. And uh, it's probably the treats. You've been, I mean, you've been practicing with them. You've been building a good relationship, building up trust, and it paid off. That is so cool. Hey, okay, one more treat, buddy. Here you go. We'll see you later. Fraser Crane, everyone. <laughs> Guy Fieri, everyone. Well done. Thank you.
Um, and this has been weird, but the reason that we do all of that stuff is that when people come to watch the show, we want people to think about their relationship with nature and with animals and how we can help animals out there who really need it. That's right. And that can lead to some great success in the conservation realm. And if you think about it, one of my favorite stories, you might have heard of this one, one of the national bird of the United States of America, the bald eagle. Everyone, this is home. And when Hope was younger, she actually ended up with a wing injury in the wild. One of the human care was deemed non-releasable, so she found her permanent home with us here. But she shares a very powerful story because not long ago, bald eagles like her, they were placed on the endangered species list. And their numbers were dropping so low, so fast, it was feared people would never see these beautiful birds in the wild ever again. But something pretty incredible started to happen. People took notice, they took action. They cleaned up waterways where bald eagles were fishing, and they stopped using a chemical pesticide called DDT, which is one of the major reasons for their decline. Right, and, and the coolest thing about that whole story, though, is that it wasn't just conservationists, it was everybody. It was all of us working together to help bring an amazing bird back from the brink of extinction. That's exactly right. Everybody's efforts paid off so much so, the bald eagle was taken off the endangered species list. It's an awesome conservation success story, and it goes to show we can all do little things around the planet to help save wildlife. Yeah, it's a phenomenal conservation success story, and there's awesome work being done, but there are animals out there that really need our help. I, I, I know, I'm trying to help them. Like this bird right over here, which is a little blue and yellow parrot called a blue-throated macaw. His name is Link. Well, blue-throated macaws are some of the rarest species of macaws you can find in the wild today. They're only found in Bolivia, and unfortunately, there are less than 400 of them left out there. And that is a really low number, but it's not just bad news. We've teamed up with an amazing organization called the World Parrot Trust, and they hope to reestablish the numbers of these beautiful parrots in nature through a breeding program where they release more to join up with their wild counterparts in hopes that one day we could see skies filled with blue-throated macaws. That would be a pretty awesome sight to see, right? And the neat thing is, there are so many birds out there with their own incredible stories. Like this guy back here in the window. What type of bird is this? Shout it out. A toucan. His name is Bruno. We don't talk about him. No. No matter what it is, though, whether it's the blue throated macaw, the bald eagle, or feta cheese the chicken, go outside and start your own adventures with amazing animals like a knobbed hornbill over there. Very well said, Adam. So, on behalf of all of us here, especially all these cool birds, we'd like to leave you with one final wish. May your hearts take flight and your spirit soar forever. Namaste. Thank you all so much for hanging out with us. Please enjoy the rest of your day. I'm the Disney's Animal Kingdom. Bye, Bye everyone. See you later. <laughs> Woohoo, we made it. Explorers and friends, thank you for joining us for Feathered Friends in Flight. Have a wonderful day. Okay, so look over there. There's a Michigan Wolverine shirt. Oh, he turned the wrong way. <laughs> Did you have your favorite part? Yeah, Lily. What was your favorite bird? Parrot. Parrot? Nice. That was a great show. Hey, Lucinda, I didn't get a chance to say hi to you earlier, but hello. Nice to see you again. That was wonderful. Thanks for sharing the show. Absolutely, Teddy. I think we're gonna head over to the uh, Tigers, right? Finish up there. And then we're gonna have to finish up there for the day, unfortunately. I know, I can't call in sick, even though you guys keep telling me to. <laughs> but we really hope you've enjoyed the coverage so far. Yes, I know, sorry, Cake. Oh, Cake's is saying boo. He saw the, there, there, there he is again. Lily, tell that guy, go blue. Huh? We'll find them. We'll get them. What's that? No, we're gonna try now because the literally toilet's just here. Man. Karen was watching. Oh, hey, Karen. Love you. Miss you. I'm glad you were able to watch. Oh. Lily, say hi to your cousin Karen. Hi, Karen. There you go. Okay. All right. Let's head over to the Tiger Show. Tiger Show. Let's head over to the Tiger Show. <laughs> Everything's a show at Disney. All right. We're going to try to get through this. Okay. 
Go blue, sir. I love your shirt and hat. All right, we got it. I see you over there, and the guy sitting on the row has a Buckeye fan. Okay. See, I'm on a live stream right now, and there's a big Buckeye fan on there, but I just wanted to make sure that he heard you say go blue. Yeah, go blue. There we go. Oh, so nice. Bad. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Have a great day, you guys. All right. You. There you go, Cakes. That was for you. <laughs> I'm trying to see. I got the lights here. The sun. I can't see the chat well enough, so let me move into the shade. <laughs> I'm waiting for Lily to come up here. Okay. Uh, morning Todd hello Todd sorry I missed it and there's Mandy uh, yeah there it is there they go you got it now so oh what is this Beth okay wait a minute Beth 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 no no <laughs> oh cakes it looks like you got someone else on your side here I'm not liking that <laughs> but it's always all good fun there you are. Oh. They got ahead of me. She's like, <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. All right. Lily, really quick over here in the shade. You got to do a napkin dance. You can't forget. So, And tell Beth, go blue. Go blue, Beth. There you go. All right. Lily, come on over here. All right. Grab a napkin. Let's see it. All right, everyone, for your viewing pleasure, here it comes, the Lily Napkin Dance. Go. <laughs> awesome. Say, there it is for today. There you go. Lily, thank you very much. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, thanks, Lucinda. They did go past me. I wasn't paying attention at all. <laughs> <laughs> I was too busy making fun of cakes, I guess. So. All right. Let's go check out some tigers, Lily. Do you want to hold it again or no? All right, let's go find a spot. You're tucking, you're tucking your napkins? Don't lose any of them. Okay. There we go. Boy, this is perfect weather out here right now. I wish I could stay all day. Oh, it is so nice. Yeah. Okay. That is true. All right. Here we go. Napkins. Yes, the napkins dance. For those that stuck around for that, that was a great treat. Lily loves to do the napkin dance. You should trademark the napkin dance. Okay, yeah, I like that too. <laughs> Get Jenny on that. So. Jenny, you might need to talk. I, I really have a hard time reading this. What? Traffic jam. Sorry about that. Thank you. That's where we just went. That's the river rapid. All right. Yeah. Follow the spot. Oh, yeah. I'm going to set up your All right. We are heading back to the jungle trek to check out some tigers here. Ken, didn't you just pull a muscle during the napkin? Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> They're really trying to get me out of work. No, we're, we should be all right. Gustavo. Gus, I, Lily did the napkin dance if you saw it, but we wish you were here to do the Gus dance. <laughs> Mom, 
Maharaja Jungle Trek. I think I said that right. Gus has mad dance moves. <laughs> he does. He does. Where's the guys up there? Thank you. <laughs> All right, Lily. Is this the Komodo? Komodo dragon? He's behind the bushes, like way down there digging, if you can see him. Part the bats. No. The bats? No. Yes. I love the bats. Lily? Aaron says hi. Hey, my sister Lily. Say hi to Aaron. Hi, Aaron. This is where the bats are, right? Yes. Well, a couple times we've been in there, they haven't been in there, I thought. No, well, it's been cold to travel. Um. <laughs> There's some monkeys in here. Yeah. Oh, there he is. There's any bats in there still. <laughs> I don't know where little bats have gone. No bats? No bats. I miss the bats. Bats are good. They eat mosquitoes. Well, no those bats. Probably. They know, they no bats. bats. Eat fruit, don't they? <laughs> All right. Lily, am I going to go up top? We'll see if there's any tigers. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, I think there is one. Let's see. Okay. Well, Tigers are always elusive. You guys ever see the tigers when you're here? I don't think we do. Yeah. Mm. All right, moving on. Literally, there's nothing to see. <laughs> 
feel like we always see more on the other the gorilla trek versus on this one but we'll see. Always, always follow the people i know <laughs> yeah we got cameras up so we're good there he is, right underneath the bench. Oh, there he is. Finally, a tiger. He's grooming himself. My friend, just please make sure you're not tapping on the glass, okay? Just like we get tired of the people knocking on the window, she will too. Okay. I'm back on camera. <laughs> back on point. All right, Lily's got an itch on the eye that mom's taking care of, so we're gonna come on over here. Keep trucking. They kept walking without Jen. <laughs> we couldn't go where Jen went. There's stairs there, so. Yes. All cats, big and small, they love to sleep. And these guys look like they're having a rough day too. Enjoying the weather too. There's Lily. What's that, Jen? They're water buffaloes. The water buffaloes, yes. There are six of them that we saw. Six of them. Yep. Okay. Do we have birds and a couple, another water buffalo. The water buffalo that we saw from the other angle, but there you go. <laughs> yep. That's why they call it the tiger trek because there's only always one tiger. <laughs> Welcome to the tiger trek. What's that though? Yeah, pretty soon. We gotta head towards the entrance, I think. I really appreciate everyone trying to get me to call in sick to work. I wish I could. I really do. The stream has been going well all day. We've had a lot of fun, a lot of jokes. Next time, next time hopefully we have a longer one. I don't think there's anything over here to see. Pretty sure there is. Oh, here comes the... Well, we'll check just in case. Oh, yeah. Is there a tiger there? Yeah, there is. All right, we'll wait. Okay. All right, so we didn't... It is not the tiger. Yeah, now they're telling me to take a mental health day. So, here's another guy right there. Get as close over as I can. There you go. Mandy, look, another one sleeping. There we go. Oh, thank you, sir. We'll return the favor. There you go, Lily. <laughs> There you go, your highness. <laughs> go ahead. There. 
There we go. Dame, take care. Thanks for, for helping out today. She's got to head back to work, too. Oh, so. Thanks, Dame. Yeah. These are different birds. These are different birds, Lily. We'll keep going. <laughs> There's another one. There you go. Do you need the stream to write you a note to get out of work? Yeah, I wish. <laughs> That'd be nice. <laughs> I wish it were that easy, Cakes. Oh, you guys are all making me feel sad. These birds are all white. Let's see if I can get a close up of this bird when it's all said and done. There's birds up here. Yes, you're back. I don't know if I want to get much closer. This one looks like he's having a rough day. Yeah, that too. He found a nice shady spot. So. <laughs> You got it, Ken, but at least you got to go this morning. Right? I did get to go this morning, and when I'm sitting at my desk later tonight working, and I'm so, so, so tired, I hope you guys are all thinking about me. <laughs> there we go. Okay. I missed it. That one's cleaning itself. There we go. Oh, there's another one sneaking out, going for a little swim. There. Okay, here we go. We got it. Thank you. Whoop, we got it. There we go. I don't have it. There we go. Take three of the chain game. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> My arms are long enough. <laughs> Thank you guys. Have a great day, all right? <laughs> you guys were awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Poor little guy. He's trying to hold the door for Lily. His arms weren't long enough. <laughs> yeah, right. AK is more of a, what does it say, relaxing yes. park? Yes, that is true. I think, I, I agree. It's definitely less chaotic, right? Sure. Yes. A little bit more chaotic by the rides over here, but for the most part, the rest of the park is pretty. Yeah, I wish we had more time and we did a, I would have, if we had more time, I'd go on uh, Everest. <laughs> and then we wished we could have did the Lion King show too. But. What? Time is time. What time is it? <laughs> yeah, we got to start heading out. So. so down this pathway here, where it dead ends, make a right. You got it. We're gonna head up by the Tree of Life here. We'll do a nice little sign off, I think, right? I, so. get well, I ain't got time to do that. Oh. 
Okay. All right. Well, we'll head on over here. Yeah. yeah. All right. We're moving. We're grooving. How many? 835 subs, Lily. Oh, thank you guys for all those. If you're still there and you just subscribed, we really appreciate it. Hopefully the likes keep coming in. The subs keep coming in. Lily, I'll get her on here in a second. Lily, what do you always say? 1K, baby. 1K, right? baby. That's right. That's what she's waiting for, right? Yep. You're getting closer and closer. Yep. You're at 835. Woohoo! Tell everyone, thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah, we posted a new video the other day with Lily and Mom at uh, Hollywood Studios with Marlon and Gus. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. But like I said, more, more times than not, we do vlogs more than we do live streams. So, but lots of, lots of fun stuff out there. So, let's just do this over by Everest. Huh? Okay, we'll go this way. All right, yeah, it's it's not crazy. I wouldn't say it's crazy busy, would you? No. It's a Thursday, yes, that is true. So, I'm gonna try it. We'll go over by the. Where are we going? This way? Which way are we go? Okay. All right. What are we doing right over here? All right, Lily. You go right here. You got it? Yeah. All right. So, Lily, tell everyone, what was your favorite part of the day? Our bird show. Your firework show? No, bird show. A bird show. Did you say firework show? Did I say firework show? show? I think yeah, I said no. someone said something. I don't know. You know what? I'm tired, people. Here it is. I'm starting to fall apart. So, okay. Lily, you love the bird show. Yep. We got some more subs today. I hope everyone enjoyed the footage we had, right, Lily? Yep. If you're just joining late, we did um, the um, safari. We went and saw the gorillas, right? Did yep. the bird show. Um, went and just saw, got done seeing the tigers, right? So it was a lot of good footage out there. But we really thank everyone for the mods, of course, uh, for watching and taking care of things today. Cakes, Mandy, Dame is not there anymore. And, of course, Jen was helping out with that, too. And for all those that uh, left comments, nice comments, funny comments, we say a huge thank you. Lily, you want to show me your napkins one more time? Here it comes. She got them tucked. Say, there we go. Do it. Napkins, napkins, napkins. Here we go. Anyways, Lily, you got anything else you want to tell everybody? So. Subscribe to I guess I'm telling you like it. I love you guys. Bye. Yeah, right, there we go. Everyone, you thank guys. you very much Bye. again. And uh, uh, thank you for the awesome comments. Okay, Lily? I love you guys. I love the guys. Bye. And we love will, you. And we'll see you next time. See you next time. I love the guys. Bye. Bye-bye. There we go. They're all saying thanks. Bye, Bye, Bye everyone. Bye.